What's up guys, Top Tier Yu-Gi-Oh here and today we have local legend Nicholas Natalello, the creator of the Cybers Outlets deck, here to show us his list for YCS Charlotte. What's up Nick, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, it was a fun tournament. Let's see what you played. So uh, I played three Dawscaper, uh, three Firewall, three Cybers Gadget. Uh, all these have the same thing in common, which gets you to the Wink to Slayful, Wink to Vody combo. Uh, yeah, I just want to max out on all the names. Uh, I drew these a lot, to be honest, so this was pretty good. Wouldn't, I mean, this is probably the worst one since it was a token collector before you get to, like, Wink to Vody. But, uh, this is also can be, like, the best one because the actual effect to summon back can be relevant. Uh, and then I played three Temple. Obviously, this card's the same. This engine's probably the best engine in the game. Hard to win without it. Yeah. And then I played two Souls, two Illusion. Uh, yeah, I drew these a decent amount. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's really well. It works well with all the you engines. Sign up for Win a Map 18. Please see the judge by the blue banner. Your event is about to start. And then I played one Lancia, one Scythe. Uh, Maying the one Lancia was really nice, uh, especially if I ever want to end with Dag down the field so I can end on both. Oh, yeah. On top of, if my opponent was on 40 cars, I just assumed they were playing Thunder or like Phantom Knights. So, so, like, I could just always go for this. And, like, usually this with like hand traps and like, or the Elder Engine is enough to like sacrifice the Scythe. Uh, and then I played the Griffin. Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, this card is Griffin. I mean, it's, it's, you gotta it's have a, yeah, kind of yeah. have to play the same with like this. This engine is also like the best engine. Like, these two engines are insane, so like, yeah, you kind of have to play them. Now if I go on the Lord, I only play one. Uh, it did lose me a match, unfortunately, only playing one. Uh, but truthfully, drawing this card sometimes going first is awful, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, three Ash, three Ogre. If you signed up for Ride with the Warlords number 10, please see the judge by the blue banner. Your event is starting. Three Nib, three Veiler, three Collector. Two ghost bill. Uh, yeah, I just play every hand trap under the sun. And uh, plus the Lancia too. Yeah, yeah, plus the Lancia should be 19 because I also play one imperm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, everything was good because every deck that you actually care about should be playing tokens. If it's not, this deck should probably beat it because I'm playing eldritch cards, adventure cards, and DP, and all those engines should be more unfair than every other deck that's not playing token collector. That's fair. Uh, yeah, this card is also good against prank kids because the way they do their combo, they just like it fucks them over because they they always go for pranks, but they can never end on anything. Left for yeah. Attack of the Giant card. If you would like to take one of those last thirteen spots, I would suggest you register for it online at events.thesidedeck.com. Once those thirteen spots are filled, that event will close. And then I play three right. Three Eldlin. Uh, I didn't really draw Eldlin that often. I like drew into it later in the game, but I didn't really open this card. But it, I mean, yeah, these cards are insane. Uh, to cross out, this is the ugliest thing in my deck. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, so last minute, I wanted to play three of this, but for the math to open double hand trap to be above 50 percent you need to play at least 19 yeah so and there's nothing else in this deck I was worth sacrificing to play a third, so I only played two. That's fair. But how, uh, how were the two, though? Like, did I, it come up a lot? I tied it out a lot because yeah. I, I went second a lot. Gotcha. Oh, you're just so good. Win game ones. I, I won a lot of game ones. <laughs> and then I uh, played two Fusion Destiny. I drew this card probably more than any other of the engines, to be honest. I, I, I This won me a lot of games. Uh, just hard opening this into, with, like, hand traps is, like, insane. Uh, yeah, this card carried me. Foolish. I actually drew this way more than, like, I thought I would. Uh, I mean, yeah, it just gets you the temple. It can you can do cool things with like Dascape or Golden Land, or I mean not Golden Land, Golden Lord. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this card's cool. Uh, and then these two, uh, truthfully, didn't draw this much. I did draw this a couple times, but you can always put these br the bricks back with the Cybers cards, so that's really cool. And then for the last but not least, the worst engine of the deck, these cards. Uh, yeah, I mean they're good because they like give you free they basically are all plus ones that no one ever talks about that like yeah they're all pluses because yeah you get a monster on top of blowing up a card so that's pretty cool and like uh, a simple game state that can just win you games yeah it, yeah it's very well with the uh like souls and the faith like the, the adventure cards because yeah you just free discards and uh it just like adds like a second element to your deck that most decks just can't keep up with yeah 
Also, this is the best engine to out the uh, DP because of the Fair point. And then the last, the one imperm for my one cross out. I also, I just didn't think playing three bell was, uh, I think playing one imperm was better than having the third ghost bell. I guess having that flexibility with the cross out that you did have. Like, yeah. The fact the negation's a lot better than ghost bell. stuff, yeah. Yeah, ghost bell it was just more for the meta where imperm, I just thought was good. good. Yeah, it's good, overall good. Even, I guess it might not be the greatest against pranks, but like, I think it was worth the sacrifice. And if you think about it, one negates Verte that summons DPE. The other, you have to wait till DP's on the board. And yeah. At that point, it's too late. Well, Ghost Bell's cool against pranks since uh, you can hit the doodle. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or the temple. And then I play the one uh, Link Disciple, the two Link Devotee, uh, the one Link Grebo, the one Link Spider. These are all the Link ones. Uh, it's pretty standard. There's nothing really fancy in the extra deck, to be honest. Double Verte. Uh, yeah, if you open like Souls or like a way to summon another free body after you get nibbed, you can summon this. Uh, I, which I did do, so that was cool. And then I play Dark and Lina. Uh, these cards are Why insane. Why competitors online pairings are posted? Paper pairings will follow shortly. Once again, YCS competitors online pairings are posted. Paper pairings will follow shortly. Once again, YCS yes. competitors online yeah, pairings are posted. Paper pairings will follow shortly. Have... Okay, Valor and Nib. It's 1500 or less defense, right? Oh yeah, my bad. Uh, not that guy. Uh... Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so. <laughs> Some pretty good hand traps there. Yeah. I get a starter or a hand trap, and the dark. I can either search the DP pieces or uh, souls. That's yeah. why I played two souls and two illusion. So if I ever use souls, turn uh, like turn one, and like I then like some dark later in the game, mm -hmm. I still have a search that does something. Since I can search the second souls and still like send the second illusion. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah these cards are insane. Players, I saw them every game. Posted. Please find your name and find your seat. The round will begin in less than three minutes. Once again, YCS competitors, paper pairings are posted. Please find your name and find your seat. The round will begin in less than three minutes. Uh, I played one Hulk. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just summon Valor, make Selene, Dagda. Players, that's your combo. this time. Attack of the Giant card is full. At this time, Attack of the Giant card is full. <laughs> I played one Selene. One unicorn, one access code. Uh, I will say, as good as this like extra deck is, I really did miss a way to like out DPE that wasn't unicorn, which is like harder. Like I don't know what I don't think there's really a good link that does that. But like, if you're a link lock two or lower, it's really just really hard to out a DPE because your only real cards are like you have to like use them with your main deck. And like you're just not always gonna draw the pieces you need every time, especially with yeah. the way like people's boards are. So it's just a little bit hard sometimes. And I, yeah, this is MVP, baby. I, I won almost all my games because of this card. So yeah, for sure, insane. And then off to the side deck, I played one meow meow for pranks. I set out the lineup. Uh, then I played three cherries with it. Uh, I yeah, I play like all the insane extra deck cards because I play my deck's just like. Every good engine in the game. All right, YCS competitors. Welcome to your 11th and final round of Swiss. You have 45 minutes. You may begin. So, uh... What else were you hitting with cherries aside from Meow? Uh, you Maybe can hit DPE, you can hit Hulk. Oh, uh, Hulk, yeah. Verte, uh, Line of Dark. Like, like, yeah. Mainly, the big two are the, yeah. DPE, Hulk. Do you ever hit, like main combo pieces in like the mirror like yeah yeah like, if you like those... if you're goes normal summon uh i i'd probably just hold it for dp since like this is such that's a what it leads to yeah yeah, yeah. also if you hit this they can still play the game since that's they could just summon linger though and i'm not trying to let them play the game uh yeah i didn't draw this once so i don't you know i drew it like once but it didn't really matter because it was against a base player and i was already winning uh, one lancia uh this card was actually insane for me i kind of wish i played three uh, i played just a lot of decks that lost the Lancia. I know a lot of people aren't on Lancia right now, but yeah, Lancia was actually insane for me. Uh, three Gamma Driver. The one time I, I, I drew this, it was not good, so yeah, that was cool. Lightning Storm. I only drew it once, and uh, it won me the game, so that was cool. Uh, I kind of wish I played Red Reboot, maybe, uh, but it didn't really change anything, because if I saw Lightning Storm or Red Reboot, the last round I lost, I would have won, but I didn't see it, so it's okay. Uh, and I played three Sanctum because 
just in case I get hand trapped, I can still end on a card that says skip your turn. Yeah, exactly. And you know, apparently everyone was on Sanctum because I got skipped. a lot of decks. Yeah, I, uh, I got Sanctum at least three. I got Scythe at least three times. Uh, three different matches. So that was, it was, I wasn't ready for that. I got hit by two, pr I got hit, yeah, prank kids were playing Sanctum. And I was like, oh yeah. It's crazy and to they, see the evolution of this format from like Dag the Summoning Scythe to now people even playing Sanctum to get the Scythe as well. Yeah, I mean, that card uh, is probably in their... Good card. Yeah, in their good card. So, uh, and yeah, that's the deck. Awesome. Good job, Nick. Thank you uh, once again for being on the channel. And of can't course. wait to see what you do with the next YCS. Thank you.